Well, good day to all you on the YouTube land. I got another modification I'm working up on. This is a 2000 Mercury Sable dash light. Um, and I'm not happy with it. So my Sable does not have any lights underneath the dashboard. So I don't have very much floor lighting. And this is all I got. It's just one bulb here to light up the whole cab. Cabin. But anyways, I was like, I want to utilize these two lights here, the map lights, as also lights for my floor. So I got looking at the wiring diagram and I figured a way out to do this. And yeah, you could just go and take power from here to there and then they would all turn on whenever you turn open the door or turn the lights on. But the problem is I did this in my Crown Vic so I know you render these switches useless. So let's go look at the diagram. So this is your cab light here, you know. Power comes in here. Excuse me, that's ground. These three here are ground. So this is power controlled. It's got constant ground. So we need to work around that. So here's our main power. And it comes in here, obviously goes through the loop, the ground. And my idea was, well, how can I get power to these and still have these switches work. Which I could theoretically take power from here and put it here, here, and here. That would work. But as soon as you were to, so if you had power here and here, well, as soon as you would open this switch here, it would take this power source here to ground, this light to ground, as well as this light to ground. So what would happen is, well, all the lights would come on if you turned one switch on. So I'm still going to do that, but I'm going to do it in such a way that when I actually have this circuit closed... I'm not having power come from here all the way here back to this bulb and back feeding. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to jump wire to wire here and I'm going to put a rectifier diode in between the two. And I'm hoping that that works because the rectifier diode is the only one that can stop current in one direction. Well, there it is. It's all done. Two diodes. There's the diode. There's the diode. Obviously, you see the power. So, I got one lead coming off here. Then it's spliced into this. Both these wires here. <laughs> so, we're about to find out if it works. Joy. All right, well, there it is. Let's uh, go ahead and turn the lights on. So you can see all three are going. Let's turn them off real quick. And then we still have individual map lights. Not bad. 